Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having a step by step guide on how to paint our Primaris Space Marine. Now, this particular Space Marine, this particular paint scheme, it's going to be of the Ultramarines. Um, so, with this um, painting tutorial, it's going to be uh, in a tactical um, painting style not actually going off and doing like a golden demon it's all about trying to get the quickest easiest but still very effective paint scheme for your miniature so to start off we want to prime this up so i'm going to go off and get um, a product for that and the product I'm going to be using is Ammo by Mig Jimenez's Surface Primer. Now this is a waterborne polymer, um, really good term for priming. It's not just a case of it's just a paint. It's actually got that polymer in there, which it makes it really good for all your, your spraying and all that and painting that you do after it. Now, uh, when it comes to spraying and miniatures, I know a lot of you don't really have an airbrush. If you want to go off and check out um, how to use an airbrush, I've got a video of that on the Genesis Models website, where in the, I do believe it's the tutorial section, you'll find a, you know, a, a whole buying guide and how to use and basics of of using an airbrush if not you can simply use the spray can uh, spray cans or even just use a brush to paint this on but first off we're going to just nicely pour this into our color cup and the cool thing i like about the the ammo surface primer is you don't have to do any thinning or anything like that it's it's nice and usable straight out of the bottle so just getting out of kitchen um, paper towel just to you know keep our surface sort of relatively clean test it make sure that you're flowing nicely and there's no issues and then what we want to do is we spray on a misty coat to start with right so no coming along and blasting out an absolute load of paint right just a nice simple light misty coat so you've almost sort of not sort of noticing it going down you know as you can see just there it, you can press down the trigger just to pull uh, to get out air and that should dry it off really quickly because it was just a light misty coat after getting that light misty coat what it will do is it will get that bit of paint down um, to allow all your other coats after that to have something nicely to bite to it just helps the whole process of the spraying stick a lot better now we've got that light misty coat down now we can come in with a normal light coat where we actually start to see the paint coming on um, what you also want to do is if you're spraying an area and it starts to look wet just move to another part of the model just to you know not sort of soak an area or have it cooling up with paint or anything like that and once you've got that light uh, that second coat on which is a normal light coat just let that dry for a bit maybe sort of um, again you could blow air on it or something maybe 10 minutes later put on another coat until you've got good coverage just remember when you're spraying you need to have your face masks on air compressors maybe be outside windows open and all that good stuff so now it's all dry what i've done um if you've um, not already seen it there is a video of basic building of these primaris marines and one of the things was was to leave off um, the arm this way we can actually um, sort of get to um, any sort of details in there because it does cover things up now i did drill also a hole in here for uh, just to make it look cool but also we can actually use it for um, putting cocktail sticks on, which we could do with sort of cutting this just a little bit until it fits nicely in the hole and stand in sort of freely like so. So now we've got all access to sort of spray that paint there separately and I'll put that on um, afterwards. First off, first color we're gonna use, because the way I do things, um, I'm gonna start off with McCrag Blue. Now with McCrag Blue, um, we're gonna spray this on. Again, you know, you can paint it on or you can get the spray cans if you want. Now, um, if you've ever wondered about sort of spraying citadel paint through an airbrush nice and easy 
Um, there is a product that, well, it's not really a product, it's a homebrew finish. There is a video again on the Genesis Models website in the tutorial section on how to make your own um, homebrew thinners. Um, it's basically IPA water and a few little other things, and it really works well with a lot of paints. And one of those paints is um, good old Citadel just here. So I'm just going to open this up. Right, I'm just going to get a big old paintbrush, and I'm just going to actually start to nicely dip this in here give it a stir as it goes in right and we want it to get it to sort of like a, a milky sort of consistency right now the, the pigments in citadel paints are quite um thick or shall we say there's a lot of pigments in there so we don't need to like add that many sort of dollops of this all right but the whole idea is is once we've sort of got it looking around about that looks sort of milky consistency spray it on our kitchen paper towel just to see if it's spraying out nicely and it is so then as we did just the same as with the primer right we're just going to now do a light misty coat to start off with right so that you almost don't even notice that it's um, the colors going down it's just very faint misty very very light all over the miniature and just let that sit and we can just press down for air again let it dry off it should dry really quickly because it is just um, a light misty coat and it allows our further coats that we're going to put on now to be able to stick a lot better and nicer so we can now put on a normal light coat again when you start seeing it getting maybe a bit too wet Right, you want to quickly move along and you do need to come in from all different angles with this because I mean there's all sorts of areas we want to and need to get to right and then you can cut to air and just sort of let that dry off for maybe five or ten minutes and then keep on whacking on um, a light coat a light coat until you've got good coverage so we've got a nice base color all nice sprayed on and nice and dry what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start doing the highlights highlights straight away um, and what i want to do because it's supposed to be tactical painting we're not going to go off and do loads of different colors and transitions and and all this going into loads and loads of highlights and loads of um, hours of work when i keep this really nice and simple um, we're going to come along with um, um, citadel's dry blue just here and it's just going to make this so much more easier now when it comes to dry brushing there is a right way and a sort of a wrong way of doing it i mean when we get our dry brush and we sort of dip it into here because the paint's kind of nice and dry it does sort of you know get the um the bristles on the brush being already sort of in a dry brush kind of consistency and uh, it's just an easier way of getting that effect a bit more quicker um now what you gotta remember is if you've got too much paint on your brush you're going to end up just having loads of sort of brush strokes and at the same time how you apply it is going to determine you know how good this is going to look so um, what i'm going to do is um i'm not going to fill my brush full of paint right and then i'm just not going to go all over it because you know it doesn't give you that good effect what we want to do is we actually want to target this really sort of nice and properly so for instance any sort of raised edges right as you can see i'm actually you know going one way brushing across one way i'm not going this way and that way it's just one way and sort of finding those edges and sort of taking your brush along there in what would be the best way to get a nice highlight like so right right so again you don't have to be going nah, nah, nah. you just sort of give it that nice brush where it is and sort of have that really good sort of targeted um highlight and as you can see already i've already sort of highlighted them those areas up rather rather nicely actually now um because we're doing this first 
Um, it doesn't, so, I mean, you want to be as neat as possible, but we're going to be putting all sorts of gloss coats and everything on top of this, so it will sort of blend things in if you sort of maybe make it a little bit of a mistake here and there or something. Um, also, because we're going to be putting gloss coats on this, it's going to sort of slightly dull back our highlights just here with the dry brush so maybe just sort of dry brush this maybe a little bit more intense than you want it to be knowing that with everything that we're gonna that's gonna come later this is gonna sort of it's gonna be knocked back so go a bit more intense so later on it gets knocked back with all the gloss coats and you just get it just as you want it. You kind of need a bit of experience with that, but um, you should sort of be alright if you just kind of take it that little bit further than you normally would.